I love going to Salem. The Frank Black Studios in, a, in Salem. That's why we go there. And it's funny when we go there because we're sort of celebrities, but not for being in a band, just for not being from Salem. Ah, oh, those people are back that aren't from here. So it's, it's always quite nice to sort of hang out and make friends and stuff. It's cool. It's quite a small town. No one really ever goes there. So. And I suppose it was in some ways slightly different from the first time you recorded that. You were less intimidated, obviously, this time when we met him. Because it was uh, the first time I was like, it's Frank Black, you yeah. know. And this time, it was like, we're mates now. <laughs> so it was cool, you yeah. The first time we were like, does he drink? Do you think he drinks? And then he does drink. <laughs> so we were okay. We went to his hotel room and had a drink with him and stuff. It was cool. He taught me to sing this time a little bit. Like, uh, we had a phone call before we went over. My manager saying, I think he's going to try and make you sing this time. I thought I was singing. <laughs> I, was, I was a bit offended. But the... Uh, no, it was okay. Like he sent everybody home and sort of kept me in, and the key sung the lyrics when I sung them back to him and stuff. And it was good. It was we had we, we, he records quite fast. <coughs> Everything's done in one or two takes, and no overdubs really. So we added four days on to this time. So we were there for like about two weeks, and those four days were me singing. Yeah, <laughs> so it took four days to learn to sing. It's pretty good. And there's no backing vocals on this one really. Only on one of the songs. So it was just me learning how to sort of. Well, I say sing, it's more like whispering in some of the songs. So there's a bit of that. And, and it was just a lot easier this time. Cause, like, I think the first time we were producing with him, he was like careful not to tread on our toes and we were like, you know, oh, you know, doing what he says and stuff. And this time, it was more of a conversation, you know. He wasn't scared at all about treading on our toes. So let's change this and let's change that and stuff. It was, it was cool. And much, we were friends now, so it's, it's easier. He sat with his guitar and, you know, played with us and stuff. It was good. And the first one we did was Lost Weekend. And I sung it, and he played it back later, and I thought he got a ringer in. <laughs> I thought he got, like, thought maybe I'd left and, like, Ian had sung it or something, you know. But it was me. It was pretty amazing. I'm not really singing, but it was cool to find out I can do, like, a different thing with my voice as opposed to just saying things. <laughs> like, everything on the album is just recorded live. That's why we can't play things like, um, we can't play his dog eared live, because it would just knack a Freddy out. Because there's no sample, she's going dun 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 for like eight minutes or whatever it is. So it's a, he's pretty sort of, he doesn't want you to play anything that you can't play live really, like sound wise. I mean, that's going to be very hard to play live just because it would tire us out. <laughs> it's really intense, yeah, for 10 minutes. It's, I suppose it's the same approach you have with the Catholics, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's what we liked when we first sort of thought about working with him. Was, um, Jason, the engineer, was saying how. He can go for a cigarette sometimes and come back and like Charles has recorded like half the album. Oh, that's done. <laughs> like, it's pretty good. I like that sort of approach. I used to hate recording. I really enjoy it now because it's like, a, it's so much more fun, you know? Like it's more, I think because our songs are quite honest as well. If I have to keep singing the same lyrics again and again and again and again, and again it loses its sincerity. So it's kind of cool just to do it once and that's, that's it done, you know? I did. Everybody was in the French Resistance now with my girlfriend. It was a, uh, it's good. It's good. It's a misunderstood uh, concept album. <laughs> it's, it's quite fun though. Like we toured it around America and stuff, and it's quite weird. Cause it's quite a cabaret thing almost. It ended up becoming a lot more talking than the songs and stuff. It was quite funny touring that across America to confused people. <laughs> it's good. I mean, I love it. I love that album. So, so it's just a funny thing to talk. Did you find you got a slightly different reception than you do when you were? Well, group? yeah, with our group we rock out, you know. And uh, this all about rocking out and, you know, very honest songs. And with the French Resistance, it was a bit more, um, it's a concept. It's like about every song's a response to somebody else's song. So there's a bit of backstory that has to go with everything. And, and it was like just a keyboard, really, and a backing track. So you can't really rock out. So it was good. I, I really liked it. I, I sort of almost enjoyed it more, having, like, the slower pace and, like, all this gap to talking. At the end of the American tour, like, we were playing for, like, an hour and 20. Like, it was a lot of jokes and talking and it became like a lecture almost which I prefer I think with volume 2 we would do it as podcasts and just do it as lectures I think every song would be a lecture and the song at the end of it because that's how it ended up that's what it turned into at the end it was pretty good it's weird being about this time because I've conditioned myself to be polite in Germany to say like ah danke you know so I keep doing it in like WH Smiths and stuff ah danke schön and I look like a mental obviously because I'm in England now but um, I miss PG Tips <laughs> I think my brother sent me a, lo a load of PG tips though to my house, like 3,000 tea bags, which is pretty good. I've nearly run out, but yeah, that's good. I think I was always traveling anyway, so it doesn't matter where I live really. <laughs>